All right, awesome. So let's talk about this tour. It's a great package. So, I mean, I know you've been on this tour for a little while, so how's it been good? It's been, yeah, it's been one of the best tours we've ever done, uh, hands down, for sure. Awesome. The, the, every band is killer. Um, the turnouts have been great. The response uh, to the material we've been playing is exceptional. Yeah, we've been really asking for that. The crowd reception then are playing the new album live. So, so far, so good, yeah. And, um, it's, we've had a couple of nights where you know, we've got people crowd surfing to saxophone solos and things like that. So, we're yeah, trying some new things here, and uh, it definitely sticks out from like a little strictly metal package. But, uh, it's good. Nice. So, I mean, do you play the saxophone solos live, or? No, no we, um, we backtrack them. Okay. But we, we actually we had one night where uh, Bruce Lamont from uh, Green Tentacles and uh, he used to work with like Neurosis and a bunch of other bands. He came out to, to the Chicago show and he got on stage with us and we surprised it. Man, really cool. that is really cool. Awesome. And so uh, well, let's go to the new album where Owls Know My Name and it's had incredible reception, you know, from fans alike, my friends, even my brother, he was even saying how great of an album it is, and then, you know, I saw that you all were on the Billboard charts, you know, so overall, how has that, or how, how does it feel to have such a great reaction? Uh, it's been good. Uh, definitely surprising, uh, to me at least, because, you know, we changed so much up on this new record from our first two records, and uh, kind of took a bunch of risks, really, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, I was kind of wondering if we were going to get, uh, Opeth, um, <laughs> but we didn't, and it uh, seems like everyone's like really been handling the new changes like pretty well, so it's been pretty cool. Nice, and so with the writing, like how, when you wrote the album, you know, did you specifically have like something in mind, or was it more of like a collaboration effort, or was it, you know, like did you intend to try new things, or did it just happen that way? Um, I mean, we definitely set out with something different in mind, I wrote, uh, the first song that I wrote on the new record is actually the song that ended up being the last track on the album, and uh, when we finished that, it was like pretty obvious that the record was going to go into like a totally new sort of terrain, you know, as a, sonically as a band, so I think, you know, once we wrote the first song, it was like a little different from like everything else that we had done, and I had my friend over and track some saxophone on it, and, um, we were like pretty... You know, the ball just kept rolling from there. We were pretty convinced that we wanted to stick with something a little different for us to see where where it went. So. I think I think like you and I had talked a lot about like, before. You know, we had written much of anything that yeah. we you know what our intention was as far as like pushing it, things forward, and how far we wanted to go, and like you know seeing like what the expectation was not only of ourselves but like of like fans and what they you know are ready to hear from us or you know it's kind of the balance of what what it, like what it's yes, worth sure. to try I guess we, we had a lot of talks about that kind of stuff awesome and now uh, what is the meaning of the album it could be like a song it could be like a album a concept album or what do you uh, what do you say about that yeah, I mean, um, we, our whole, like, our whole thing is like a concept uh, piece in a way, like, uh, our, each album is its own specific season, um, so our first one is spring, uh, March is uh, summer, and then we're always in the name, so it's fall, and it all runs along this long, but hard to explain narrative through line. Um, and this one's not really any different in that regard, but I think the songwriting and the lyrics and just the energy we put into the record is a lot more personal this time. Um, it's a lot more, I think, in tune with the emotions we carry as people rather than some kind of attitude we want to put across. Um, so that's, you know, it's just kind of the, the record, it's just the meaning, I guess, it's just us like treating from, you know, like sort of you know, that 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 facade of like almost like metal tough guy. Awesome. Cool. And now I know that you mentioned um, 
you know, your friend who did saxophone, but I want to talk about some of the other guest spots, specifically Andy Thomas and Justin McKinney. So, um, yeah, uh, how, or I guess, how do you think of their contributions now that the album has been out for a little bit? Terrible. <laughs> never, Screw those guys. <laughs> really difficult to work with. Just very bad. Not, not good friends of ours at all. And just, we, you know, we were we thought we'd help them out. <laughs> no, they were. It was great. Um, I've known Justin since I think 2012. I think me and him just started punishing each other on social media like, before we ever met each other. And, and then um, he joined the Faceless, obviously. And now he's not in the Faceless, and, and neither is anybody else. Um, so. He's, uh, <laughs> so yeah, he, uh, yeah, but he and I have been really good friends for a while, and um, that song is actually a song that John, our early guitar player, wrote for the record, and it was a little different from the rest of the album, so I thought it would be cool to have Justin do some, like, like, Holdsworthy and, and Slams oh, yeah, yeah. on the record, and, nice. and Andy is, uh, well, he can tell you about yeah, it. Yeah, and Andy's, Andy's, like, our, you know, old friend going way back, like, him and the rest of the Black Ridge Crown Initiate guys, like we all emanated from the same area. So, uh, so we go way back, but he's also my brother-in-law, <laughs> so, nice. so there's that. <laughs> um, but and he was just like kind of hanging out, like we had the, the part that he sings on, we had actually had in mind and we asked, uh, we asked Devin Townsend to do it, but he said he was busy and he couldn't do it. Um, so I like initially I was just like, yeah, maybe I'll just sing it. But then Andy like, came with us to the studio and just like expressed interest in singing and so I was like, okay, Andy, Devin Townsend, what's the difference? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Well, uh, do you have any plans for the rest of the year or anything you can say right now? We, uh, we will say that we have some, uh, some more tours coming up and uh, some more cool stuff to put out for people. Tang is for the children. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. Yeah, just pick up the new record. Yeah, do it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Rivers and Nile, if you have not gotten Where Owls Know My Name, it's an awesome album, and these guys definitely deserve the support. Uh, they obviously are, have a big year ahead of them. Uh, looks like they'll be doing some more touring. So. Yeah. <laughs> and they're back. Yes. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching and stay metal.